There was a story of a sister who used to post content online and passed away at a young age of 50. She even died in prostration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The content that she posted wasn't even haram and it was strictly halal. She used to post content not even showing her face, just little posts reminding people of Islam, advising people of Islam and trying to get people closer to the deen. But look how Allah works. There's often a saying that you live how you die, you know? If you live like a non-Muslim, you're going to die like a non-Muslim. And subhanAllah, this sister, she died in prostration. What other honour is there to pass away other than in prostration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And many other brothers out there have this misconception in their brain. They think, or even sisters out there, they have this misconception in their brain that, you know what? I'm just going to pray later. I'm going to turn back to Allah later because there's time. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides when you're going to pass away. He's decided when you came to this earth. You have no rights. You have no right to decide when you are going to pass. We all plan it. We may think, ah, realistically, I'm not going to pass now. There's brothers who passed away. They've never trucked a, touched a drug in their life. Never touched any of this in their life. And they've lived until 80. And this example of a sister living until she was 50. Remember, there are also people out there who actively take trucks. Actively engage in all of this haram. And they are living past the age of 18, maybe into the age of 50, 60, 70 still, engaging in this. There are stories of, and I've seen it myself, of older people taking their shahada. I'm, I'm speaking like 80, 90 people who spent their whole life, whole life, anticipating to this moment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you know what, not yet. Until this person has got the message of Islam, and then maybe, maybe they might pass. But life is not guaranteed. How much rappers out here have claimed they're Muslim? Huh? How much more rappers out here have claimed they're Muslim? You know, Pop Smoke is one. I don't know about others. But Pop Smoke was famously one. Apparently that was a Muslim. And some of his lyrics he rapped about uh, the al having alcohol, consuming alcohol. And how did he die? I'm not saying, and I, I'm not... The judge of where he's going to go in the afterlife. But how did he pass? Panala, how did he pass? Unfortunately, some young intruders came in. And they shot him. They killed him. For what? And now he has countless people blasting his music. You go down, you see people playing his music. Celebrating him. Saying, oh, he passed away too soon. But, subhanAllah, so we do not know. How much, uh, how much badness this is going to be for him. How much uh, trouble this is going to be for this brother. So, essentially, why do you guys think that you are something in this world? huh? Why do people actually believe there's something? I used to have this delusion in my brain, actually, that I was deserved for something, you know. I deserved this. Allah Helen what I deserve, you know. Who am I in this world? We came, we came, and it's very out there, but we came from a sperm, a single sperm. We came out as a sperm. How do we think we're anything in this world? And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rolls up the earth, you know, like when you roll up a piece of paper, when he rolls up the earth, he's going to say, where are the kings? Where are all these gangsters? Where are the tyrants? Where are these people who thought there was something in this world? Gone. No reply. No one's going to reply because no one's there except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He who takes life, he who gives life, he is the one that's going to take our life and give it to us. And he is also the one and only being in this world that can ever decide and ever will decide where we're going to go in the future, where we're going to go now. He is the one there. He has infinite wisdom. He has infinite seeing of the future he's designed he's literally made time he's made this earth he's made us he knows us inside out he knows our intentions we cannot hide anything from from allah but allah understands the faults of humans so instead of trying to live our life and trying to make our last words rap lyrics instead of trying to be someone like a gangster 
that has no respect in society, no, you're not going to get respect in this world or the next. If you're, you're egotistical, what ends up happening to you, you end up getting evil eye anyway. So instead of being that person who thinks he's something, end this life as someone who's worthy in front of the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know how people jump around and they're so exhilarant in front of celebrities. They look at a celebrity, they see some famous Instagram model and they're like, oh, look, get a picture of me. Let's have a picture. How would you feel in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one that has created you? How would you feel in front of him? Would you have the same reaction? Because if you want your last lyric, your last word to be a rap lyric, then continue listening to rap. If you want your last words to be a pop song, do that. If you want your last actions to be filth, go ahead. But if you want to die upon honour, if you want to be given honour in the next life, then rethink how you live this life because this could affect how you go in the next. May Allah protect us.